What's up, friends? I'm Brad Ooh. It is uh, March 17th, I guess. That makes it day 45 of 100 days of sketch cards. It's funny, every day when I go to start this, I click the record button to start my first video and take a picture of myself because I haven't yet flicked it over to the camera setting. <laughs> and it's just on taking pictures. So I just did that again. And then I usually don't delete them either. I could probably do one of those like videos where it showed, you know, like uh, what was that video, Michael Jackson, black or white, where it shows all these faces real, real fast in succession. You could see what I look like for the whole 45 days. One picture every day, accidental selfie. That's a good title. <laughs> um, anyway, man. Today, so far, isn't really going the way I expected it to. Not anything big. I just, I thought I'd plop down and do a little, you know, 15-minute art cast instead of talking at the camera. And I just don't think I'm going to do that. I, I'm in, not I'm in slow motion, but everything I'm trying to do today seems to be taking longer than it should. I've been home for an hour already about from work and just trying to answer emails and stuff and it's taken me that long so I don't have as long to do my video as I thought because my wife will be home before too long. Um, what was I going to say today? I did a little bit of drawing today but nothing completed yet. I probably, I've worked on three or four different pieces today, all sketch cards, just a hodgepodge of <laughs> things. I'm getting so many now in the pencil stage that I really need a day where I can finish up a whole bunch and I think I, it'll kind of happen that way like I'll, I'll load up and have a bunch done all at once. I did finish a prospect oh that's funny I ha I'm gonna upload this video and at the same time upload yesterday's video because I shot a quick video yesterday but then I didn't have time to upload it. Well, I did, but by the time I got home and everything, I was like, I had forgotten about it, and I was trying to do other stuff and get to bed. <laughs> and so, my video didn't go up, and it doesn't really matter, because I did it, and I figure anybody who's watching these, especially, like, watching daily, I don't think anybody's going on and watching every day that I post a new one. If anything, I'll have somebody like myself, an artist watching another artist's updates and, and daily videos or whatever. 100 Days of Comics is one of the ones I know has a bunch of people doing daily update videos. And, you know, going to the playlist or whatever and just setting it to go. And so you'll watch several in a row while you're working or listen to probably more than watch. And that, so I figure it's not going to matter people see that that was like I was in a big hurry and it was like today I drew one card all right see ya um I'm not as in, in as big of a hurry today evidently but the only thing that I did oh, I just uploaded the another video I just no let me back back up a little bit the video I did from a couple days ago the art cast where I was drawing a uh, prospect rush baseball card I just posted that up on the baseball forum just before I started this video. So um, so that's kind of neat. They seem pretty receptive to the previous ones I did on the Gypsy Queen set. Um, it's a way to kind of get my name out there with the baseball collecting community. And anyway, I, the other day when I did that, I listened back to it later when I was drawing... And I went off on this whole tangent about Michael Motion, the contact juggling guy. And I realized afterwards, I never even, like after I listened to it, I never even got to the point I was trying to make when I brought him up to begin with. <laughs> um, and anyway, the, so I'll kind of retell that to, to actually say what I wanted to say about it. So Michael Motion created contact juggling. By, ooh, I should have I should have had a ball so I can show you guys. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow if I think of it. Uh, basically taking what looks like crystal balls and 
and rolling them in your hands and body, and it's all magical looking. It's what David Bowie did in Labyrinth. And he came up with that, or, or he's kind of credited with that. I'm sure there were different versions of it at some point. But anyway, when he did that, he went off into some remote location and stayed for a month or several months by himself, learning this or teaching himself this new art form. And that's what he did. And that's how he came up with it. And I think Justin Vernon of Bon Iver did something similar with the first Bon Iver album where he just went out by himself and recorded this album. Um, and what I wanted to say about all that is Spring Break is coming up <laughs> in next week. And I'm not, I don't have any particular plans, so I won't be working. I'll be staying home. My wife will be working all day all the all those weekdays so that is the closest i'm going to get to that type of a setting i'm not going to i've always thought it would be really cool to like go off and like i'm going to learn you know some particular art form or you know learn to paint i'm going to paint for six months um and go out by myself and do just that i've always thought that was an interesting concept but whatever it is you're going to do it could be any kind of any kind of art form or anything else really thought that'd be a really cool way to like hone your skills learn something new experiment whatever it is like some sort of um, some sort of exploration of so anyway that's that's how I'm kind of viewing spring break because I'll at least have large chunks of time for five days in a row where it's just me and I'll be able to get some stuff done it would kind of be an ideal time if I was working on a uh, set where I had a big number done to or a big number due I could just bust them out and be working on that all week but maybe it's better that I don't because I wanted to do some ex exploring type thing experimental type stuff type things and type stuff <laughs> and I, I feel like I'm stumbling on my words more than usual um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have fun next week I think and and be real busy and productive. I've got a handful of commissions, some of which I might even get to before next week, like the collector crate stuff. I might do one of those on an art cast. We'll see. Uh, I've got three of those. I've got a Ronda Rousey to do. I've got a boxer. Well, actually, a couple boxers. So we'll see. I'll get to all those and then some. And I've been doing just, like I said, random ones. I, I've printed up just a bunch of random photos. Some of the horror ones I've been doing were like that. Um, I got a Spider-Man one I was going to try to do. A couple MMA fighters. So, And I keep those ideas coming. Anybody who wants to see something, even if you're not buying it, you can throw the idea out to me and I might draw it anyway. And then, um, cause I'm, Because I'm doing experimental stuff and just looking for more more things especially if you got a photo picked out just send it to me on facebook and maybe i'll put it in my next reference prints i'm not saying i'm going to do free art for, for anybody i'm saying you know I, i'm looking to do a lot of different experiments some of them are going to be quicker and way different and not what i would usually sell and so whatever um no problem i'm not promising i'll draw something if you send me a picture but uh i might <laughs> <laughs> so, alright, anyway, I think that's, see, I probably could have drawn for ten minutes right here instead of just sitting here slumped over on the couch. Um, yeah, that's probably enough yammering on for today. Hope you guys are all doing awesome. I'm doing okay myself. I'm, like I said, really looking forward to spring break. I can't believe it's only Tuesday. It's been a slow week. And last week was slow, too, for me, so. All right. My computer's trying to die on me. All right. Talk, to, talk at you guys tomorrow.